Easy 98.1. Film Festival. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. Did you just get to San Diego? Or? Yeah, it's been non-stop. We've been on a tour all, all, all over the America. So yeah, we just got here recently. Okay, awesome. I know I'll be missing some of your um, some of your fellow cast members today. Yeah, not all of us are here, but you've got um, two yep. of the two of us here, so that's all right. Yeah, I know. We're really excited. Um, thank you. So how did it, how is it that you came to um, to get this role? <laughs> what, how did it start? I mean, yeah, I've been acting for many years in London. I, I've, I've done a couple of films in the UK, so I've been acting steady for years now and this script just came to my agent my agent put me up for it and yeah I got perfecto. it I know perfecto eh? yeah so uh, we've got to know how was it working with Reese Witherspoon oh yeah do you know what it was amazing Reese is a very I was nervous to work with her at first because you know she's an Oscar winner but um, she was very humbling she was she was great she my first day on set she she gave me a card and she wrote uh, Arnold I can't wait to work with you and she gave me a bottle of champagne oh no kidding and I haven't popped it yet I'm waiting until we get to London I'm waiting for the London premiere yeah then we'll pop it in. You're waiting for your Oscar nomination and then you'll pop it, right? <laughs> Have you seen the film yet? I have not. I've seen the trailer and I'm dying to see it. You're going to see it today? I want to. If I can sneak out of this carpet, I will be sitting right there sneaking with us. I've got to see next to you. Just come I in. I know. I know. There's a press screening next week that I'll catch. If I, if not today, I know. I'm like, fingers crossed. Have you seen How many times have you seen the film? Oh, too many. Too many? Too many. Too many times. Too many times. I still love it though. And, and I still get teary. So Aww. hopefully you do as well when you see it. Yeah, I can't wait. And are you, are you paying more attention to the audience now? that you've seen it a few times? 100%. The, the, the amazing thing about this film is that the audience, like, they always cry, like, there's always silence, like, it's just so emotional. Yeah. yeah. No, well, the story is, it's impactful even in reading about the film, so I can yeah. only imagine. Yeah, so. filming it was the same way, man. Mm -hmm. It was the same way. Well, well, that's phenomenal. Well, we can't wait to see it, and yeah. I know the audience is going to feel the same, so thanks so much for joining us. Thank you us. so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'll give you a hug. I know, right? Hello. How are you? I just got an opportunity to speak with Arnold here. Oh. <laughs> I know, you guys, are you? There's like sorry right. listeners, like what are you doing here? Oh wow. So did you just get here as well? Um, yes, we got in at the same time along the Okay. This is your time, I'm just in the background. <laughs> I know, it's like I'm in the background, kind of. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so funny, so I was just talking to Arnold about how we got um, involved with the film. How did you come to land the role? Well, um, the time that I had gotten, uh, I heard about the, the film actually. I was still in school in college. And so, um, it was sent to me by a friend who was also auditioning. And, Sent it to me on social media. And uh oh, and you got it. And <laughs> she didn't care about sports. Oh no, he. It was a he. Oh okay, no, okay. 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 <laughs> no, no. So yeah, I mean, he, he didn't get it. But um, yeah, I was grateful that he sent me the script because I wouldn't have heard about it. I didn't. I thought that maybe it was like a documentary. I didn't know the production behind the movie. I right. had not even known this was going on. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, we were just talking about the story itself, um, and it seemed like it might be a documentary. I mean, it's based in yeah. truth, right? Yeah. I mean, and there have been a lot of documentaries based on this. I know a lot of people who, when I tried to describe it to them, were like, oh, 60 minutes. And they're like, oh, okay, no. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. It's a reference, yes. Uh -huh. So do we learn a lot about the historical context of this in the film? Mm -hmm. Um, Yes, from the beginning. Okay. From minute one to the last, um, I guess, the last minute of the movie. Mm -hmm. It's follows us to wear nice yeah, in Sudan, and so the audience is into this, knowing it. where these kids come from and what they've gone through. So yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, that's yeah. normal. I can't wait to see the film. How was it working with Reese? Oh no, she was a great woman. Like, <laughs> I remember my first scene was with her, and I was so nervous. Oh my <laughs> gosh, you step in yeah. very scene one, and it's Reese Witherspoon. Yes, right yes. I was just like, oh um, yeah, but no, she made us feel comfortable. And mm -hmm. Ever since then, yeah, we've been like family. Yeah, and how far in advance did you meet before that scene? Yeah, uh, maybe a week. In advance. Okay, and yeah, so was it? So you knew her? Yeah, like, yeah, no, I got yeah, of course. to do the scene with you. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't like surprise. No. Yeah, we got to talk and mm -hmm. before we even got it. Got it. And you've seen the film a few times then? Uh, too many times. Uh, yeah. That's what Arnold did. How many times are you guys screaming? It's like we're at the point where we're just reciting all the lines now. Uh oh. Yeah, you're following it, waiting for you know, the all the lines. Laugh. Like, oh, okay, okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. Now we can read the audience and know when to hit certain points. Yeah. Right, cue to laugh, cue to cry yeah. type thing. Oh, well, the story sounds amazing, and I can't wait to see the film. Yes, so, I, can, I can't wait to see it. Yes, thank, thank you. you. So you can go. I'm just gonna be the background. Are you sure? Yeah, come here. No, no, no. 
so funny. I'm Erica. Yeah. Hi, Erica. It's so nice to meet you. We're so happy to have you here at the San Diego Film Festival. We're thrilled to be here. Awesome. We're really excited. Uh, so have you seen the film as many times as these two? Because they've said, it, they've, they said that they've seen it so many times. I've seen it three times. Okay. And it's been interesting because each time I saw it with a completely different audience. But they all had sort of the same response at the end. So okay. it's really, it's going to be fun to see yeah. if uh, third time's the charm. How is it going from the pages to the screen? How accomplished do you feel when you're seeing a film that you wrote? Uh, well, this film took 11 years to get made. So, and I uh, ended up getting the rights back myself mm -hmm. and setting it up again. So for me, it's a really long journey. Wow. Yeah. Intense. So it's very intense watching the film, actually. Got it. And was it how you envisioned the characters and how it unfolded? It's exactly how I envisioned the characters. Okay. Uh, I, I'm so thrilled with the casting and the performances. I, I actually, in my mind, I wrote it for Reese Witherspoon. So, me, my character starting 11 years ago. And how did that, 11 years ago, did she know that? When, how, how did she come? Yeah, to she knew it. When I, when she read it, she, they said, Margaret wrote this for you. So, uh, no she wrote kidding. this for you. Wow. And, uh, and she agreed to take the part right away. I mean, it, yeah. I think she got it the next day, she said, I'm doing it. So That's phenomenal. And what's your relationship with the story, how did this come, what, how did the first word on the first page come to be that first word? I read so much, in, like an immersion learning about the culture and the war and the tribes and, and how they got to America. And then um, I knew exactly what the first page would be. And so it, it's weird. I, I, knew exactly, I knew exactly how the film would end and I knew before I even went in, because it was, it was an open job assignment. I went in, it was my first paying job as a screenwriter 11 years ago, this, this movie. Yeah, so it's a big deal for me. So 11 years later, yeah, that's touching. I can't wait to see your characters oh, come alive and the story unfold. So. Well, and it was so exciting when we found these actors because I'd been waiting so long. Yeah. Like, particularly Arnold was saying as, as my mayor. He's incredible. Yeah, you know, I saw a little in the trailer and I'm like, you're going to be incredible. I need to see this film immediately. Well, he auditioned in London and I saw a tape of him and I was like, that's him. That's him. That's my mayor. That's my mayor. And then it turned out uh, Reese Witherspoon had seen the tape as well. Yeah. She was like, that's him, that's my mayor. So both of us from different angles came to the director and was like, all right, let me make up my mind. Now. Yeah. Calm down, girls. Calm down. Exactly. So, and, but it was like, he was the guy. Ganging up. And it's, it's pretty rare that you got, you just handpicked your character. You, you got who you wanted and who it was that, that came to fruition the way that you saw it initially. Well, and Corey Stoll plays Jack, who's a great actor, and I've been trying to cast Corey Stoll in my last three projects. Got it. And I finally got him! Yay. So that was really exciting too. And Philippe yeah. Fowler did an amazing job. Mm -hmm. I, he's an incredible director. Oh, that's phenomenal. We're so excited to hear the backstory on this. And uh, we can't wait for our listeners to see the film, um, etc. Thanks so, so much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. This is really